you're under arrest. Really? For what? Gee, I don't know. How about selling food without a permit? Transporting undeclared commerce across row lines? Both kids and adults are so in love with Zootopia because this animated movie takes us into the wonderful world of a world where different animals live together. We meet there a bunny cop and a cynical con artist, Fox, who decides to team up to solve a mystery that is going on in the city. The movie itself is filled with meaningful messages, it is sweet and fun, but it wasn't always the case. In this video, we're gonna go over all the deleted scenes of Zootopia. You'll be surprised to know that the film was plan to be darker. You think when she goes to sleep she counts herself? Oh, shush. Okay, traffic cams. The very first scene that we should start with is the movie's opening scene. You'll be surprised to know that it had to be different. The alternative opening scene was set in Woodlands Elementary School rather than at the Carrot Days Festival. In this version, Judy rehearsed the song with her classmates, and the teacher, Miss Armadello, accompanied them on the piano. What was the song about? About the future. Every one of Judy's classmates was singing a line about what they wanted to be when they grow up. Sally the squirrel sings that she wants to sell nuts, and Rory the raccoon sings that he wants to drive a trash truck. But Judy doesn't sing that she wants to grow carrots. While all the animals are stereotyped, Judy isn't. We then see Judy helping Bobby, the cougar cub, when he is about to fall out of a tree. When the police arrive, the officers give Judy Jr. a ZPD badge, and they say that one day she has to become a police officer. Judy was so happy to hear that but one of her classmates said that Judy is just a bunny, and the officer replies, this is Utopia, where anyone can be anything. A moment which echoes what Judy does and says to Nick Finnick later on in the final movie. That anyone can be Almost every movie features a love story, so no wonder some Zootopia fans would love to see Nick and Judy being a couple. The next scene that was unfortunately deleted features Nick meeting Judy's parents and her dad assuming that Nick is Judy's boyfriend. In this scene, we see Nick arriving in Judy's pink apartment to question Judy's description of where they were going as a safe house. Judy's reply is that it's a safe house with a space in the middle, a house that is safe. Doesn't it sound familiar? This is actually what Nick was saying when he advertised the Redwood. He wasn't lying, he was just selling the rodents as it was actually Redwood with a space in the middle, wood that is red. Judy's parents appear in her house by surprise and when Judy's father first sees Nick, he asks her to pass him the fox taser and then worries that Nick is her boyfriend. Then the family discovers that Nick is not a real cop and her father demands Judy to leave Zootopia and return home, but Nick steps in to defend her. But as you may remember from the final movie, it was not Judy's father, but Chief Bogo who was trying to make Judy leave the police force. The movie directors Rich Moore and Byron Howard said that they knew that people would really love Judy and Nick, and they'd want them to be in love, but they decided that it would be better if these two were just friends. I found immediately that there's one camp of fans that want Judy and Nick to be in love, and they ship these characters and want them to get married and show us drawings of their wedding. Settings, Rich Moore tells EW. And then there's the other side that says, no, they cannot get married. Why does every male and female couple in a movie have to fall in love? There doesn't have to be romance. Why can't they just be best friends? It's amazing that people are passionate about it and will argue and discourse. Many fans are still wondering why exactly the scene where Mr. and Mrs. Hopps mistake Nick for Judy's boyfriend got cut. Do you have any ideas? If yes, let us know in the comment section down below. Sorry, what I said was no. She will not be giving you that badge. <laughs> but here we have a clear answer, actually. According to Rich Moore, they were looking for a moment when someone could threaten Judy's ability to become a police officer, and the director explains that the best way to do that would be to make her parents question it. Maybe they think she's been lying to them, and she's not a real cop, and they say, Judy, you're going home right now. But we tested and people don't believe Judy would give up everything because mom and dad said to go home. So that scene was the event 
eventual creation of the actual scene in the movie when Judy's boss Bogo almost cans her. Nick comes to the rescue, like he does in this deleted scene, but it carries much more weight when it's Bogo. Byron Howard also shared his thoughts and said that it was actually very funny to make this scene. It's great to be able to look back and review a scene like this. There's a charm to her dad being so thrown by the fact that this was a potential boyfriend. When we screened it for our crew, we got huge laughs. He then added that it was really interesting to see this deleted scene. Why? Because you do see the genesis and early infant form of those ideas before they really took hold. For this in particular, Judy steps up and defends Nick against her parents, but it flips in the real movie. And we gave that piece of power to Nick. And that then was something important to Judy that she can talk about in the next scene, which became the gondola scene where they level with each other. I really am just a dumb bunny. Don't worry, carrots. I'll let you erase it. These two scenes didn't really change the whole atmosphere of Zootopia, but if the one we're gonna talk about hadn't been cut, it would have changed the whole movie. Yeah, as you may have guessed, this scene wasn't exactly Disney-esque. Firstly, we have to start with the fact that Nick was the main character, but not Judy. And secondly, there was a much darker take on the distinction between the Predator and Prey. But the worst is yet to come. In this version of the movie, Predators like Nick had to wear shock collars. They were forced to wear them in order to be accepted to the city, and the collars would emit a shock to the wearer if they became too emotional. The entire story was told from Nick's perspective and focused on his own coming to Zootopia, and the subsequent treatment there. The team then realized they had to tell Nick's backstory and discrimination, and this one would make the entire film darker. For example, one of the scenes featured Judy and Nick attempting to escape imprisonment, only to stumble upon a taming party. This party is pretty devastating because it shows us a young polar bear's birthday. The little one receives a shock collar as a present, but he is then saying that he is proud of being a big bear, while his father is silently saddened by the situation. In the final cut, predators evolved and they didn't need to kill the animals and eat them. However, the early version was really sad and cruel. We're so happy that Disney deleted these creepy scenes. A hundred tickets. I'm not gonna write a hundred tickets. I'm gonna write 200 tickets. And now, let's talk a bit about some really amazing designs that didn't make it to the final movie. We wanna talk about the designs for Judy's family home in Bunny Burrow that for some reason were changed and transformed in the final cut. Initially, the size of Judy's house and family had to be really enormous with over 200 bunnies running around. There was even an idea to create Judy's family so large that her family couldn't even remember her name. This one is not really nice, but still sounds interesting. The family home had to be centered around a constantly in-use kitchen and a dining area that rotated slowly allowing hungry bunnies to take the place of bunnies who'd already finished eating. Plus, the Bunny Burrow district had to be more Toronto-inspired, but we see something like that briefly only in the final cut at the Bunny Burrow train station. Have you heard of any other deleted scenes? If yes, share them with us. We would like to explore them. And also, do you think some of the deleted scenes had to be included in the final version of the movie? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! So, if you'll excuse us, we have a very big lead to follow and a case to crack.